A disturbing, tragic situation unfolding in New Jersey. Police say a man brutally beat his adult daughter to death, tried to do the same to his wife, and then took his own life. I'm Shayna Humphreys. And I'm Jason Martinez. Uh, police say that he was on the run for several hours after attacking them with a baseball bat. Our Kelly Rule following the story for us live tonight in Voorhees. Kelly. Jason Acheda, according to court documents, during this horrific attack, 57-year-old Gregory Kellerman said to his wife, quote, I can't take it anymore. I'm told his daughter was a Temple University student with a bright future. It's just sad. Something like this would happen. An emotional day and a half for mom Chrissy Radovich. She's still trying to process what happened feet from her home and to a woman she watched grow up. She was just a good girl. Now, I know that she was a very smart girl and, um, you know, just ready to start her life. The Camden County Prosecutor's Office says 22-year-old Catherine Katie Kellerman, seen here on her Facebook page, was killed by her own father, 57-year-old Gregory Kellerman. He's also accused of attempting to kill his wife, Katie's mother. Court documents say Katie's mother called 911 from their home on Round Hill Road in Voorhees Township just before 7 a.m. Monday, saying she and her daughter were beaten by Kellerman with a baseball bat. Documents say she told investigators her husband woke her up, striking her with a bat, and when she crawled into her daughter's room, she was already badly beaten and unresponsive. Documents say Kellerman contacted his employer after 10 a.m. saying he was going to be late due to a family emergency, but never showed up to work. Cooper University Healthcare confirms he was an employee there. Sick to my stomach. Uh, I, I still can't get over this. I mean, on, on, on surface level, you would never, ever expect anything like that to happen. Uh, they seem like a close knit family. You know, I just saw him Saturday. He was doing his leaves. The U.S. Marshal Service and local police searched for Kellerman through the night. Tuesday morning around 1130, officials say his body was found in a wooded area behind the Robin Hill Apartments on Preston Avenue with what appeared to be a self inflicted gunshot wound. Temple University confirms Katie was a student there and her mom is an employee. She was always with her dad. I mean, they always, you know, seemed like he was like always taking them to school when she was in school. So it was just very sad. Katie's mom is still in the hospital recovering tonight. We're told she's in critical but stable condition. Shana. Kelly Rule live in Voorhees. Thank you, Kelly.